Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. There is so much content coming today in FC25, it's about to be a movie. We've got the Ballon d'Or cards first that we're all getting for free, we've got the Centurions promo that's in packs, and the first promo icons of the year as a part of Centurions as well. Plus on top of that, a Darwin Nunez player SBC, which could be cracked, could be overpriced though, and evolutions coming today that are bound to be good at some point during this promo because we have our own specific card design for Centurions. Could this promo be the one that rejuvenizes this game a little bit or could it fall flat guys some of the cards we're going to look at today if you've seen them already you know they're insane and there is so much to discuss regarding the market i've got most of my coins liquid because i'm worried about prices dropping let's talk about it guys if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's start by getting into yesterday's content on thursday really quickly because we actually had a player sbc that was moving a bit of the market and it's actually a pretty interesting player sbc for what we normally get on thursdays we had the moments robertson andy robertson in SBC yesterday, guys. It is five segments. It's 150,000 coins. The card itself is good. I don't think it's amazing, but a lot of people are doing it, even though it's downvoted on Footbin. I'll tell you why in a second. Three star, three star is not the best part of this card, but the pace boost that he got makes him super usable. He's got great passing stats as well, and he's got attacking wing back, fullback plus, and wing back plus plus. So, it's definitely a good card. Is it insane? Is it a meta moving card? I don't think so, but I think it's a card that a lot of people are doing. It's really easy to do too. 81, 82, 83, and 84 rated squads with two team of the weeks. Again, coming in at 140, 150,000 coins with those low rated squad requirements. Now you see downvoted SBC here. I think it's because he's maybe not as meta as some of the other cards in the Premier League like the Anthony Robinson. But if you take a look at other left backs on the market, they are down bad. Risa was 96k yesterday. He's now 60k. Even Lisa Razu, not a Premier League left back, from 290,000 coins he was yesterday before content, down to 230. And of course, the Anthony Robinson that we mentioned, he's down a lot as well. He was over 100,000 coins. He's now under 90k. So whether you or not you want to do this Robo SBC, I think it's still a solid SBC. It's just a nice fun one with a nice upgrade for a card that's usually not that usable in this game. So this one, GG's to EA. And then again, you have Darwin Nunez coming out today. More Liverpool links to watch there. Of course, on Thursday, yesterday too, we had the marquee matchups. That's a mainstay every single week. And then we got to go to objectives because actually EA dropped some early content just a little bit ago. Wait, it's it's gone. Hold on. There was a crafting objective that was just showing up that EA must have mistakenly released early. I mean, who? when is content ever released at like midnight? But anyways, there was a crafting objective here that said Centurion's crafting objective at 100 different completions and the packs from it weren't that insane. But I guess that means it's coming sometime during the weekend, guys, of the Centurions promo. We are going to be getting a crafting upgrade SBC and objective correla correlation together. We love those, right? Those always give us a lot of fodder, and what a good time to have one of those. I think there was one during the Centurions promo last year, too, so it makes sense that we were to have one sometime today or this weekend, I guess it's not out right now anymore as that objective has now been taken away, but that is something we'll watch out for. I will say the packs from that objective didn't look that great. I think the overall reward was an 82 times five. So hopefully the actual SBC for the crafting SBC is good too. This 81 combo has been probably our best upgrade pack so far from the ones that I've opened. I think it would be maybe a 77 double or a 78 double coming back for a crafting, but hopefully it's cheaper and only requires gold commons, maybe not any rares, but that's something to watch Watch out for coming out this weekend because EA kind of already released it on the game. Last thing we have to talk about that happened yesterday but actually relates to today is Road to the Knockout Upgrades. Of course, a lot of people are looking forward to these cards getting boosted today on this game. And of course, these are the games that happen on Tuesday and Wednesday. You've got VVD going plus one, Araujo with the plus two. Guys, with these cards, thinking about the market perspective here, I think we have to be careful, especially for the cards like Brandt and Araujo that are getting plus twos, Lemelu as well. That last upgrade is so hard to get. It's so far down the line. I would sell on the hype, as always we do with most of these cards. But one other thing to note is 
like this Garnacho, he's getting a plus one, but he's getting the upgrade that also gives a roll plus plus. For these cards that are getting upgrades today related to scoring in four separate matches, that brings a roll plus plus upgrade with it as well. So Kutu Romero is going to get a plus one and the plus plus. Same thing with Garnacho. Nico Williams, SBC, finally getting the double upgrade there. Roman Koch is getting a double upgrade as well. So watch out for all of these, but probably sell on the hype. And of course, today's a big day if you did the Gonzalo Inacio. Uh, objective into the Bomb Pastor Evo and uh, got him upgraded to 86. This will be the day, the deciding day, if he does get upgraded still as an Evo card or if he if he doesn't. And we're expecting him to, but that's why this card has been extinct. If you have him, I would probably sell him as well. So that's kind of happening. It should happen early today, but I don't know if it's going to happen super early, especially because of all the things that are going on today, guys. Now, what's happening almost just an hour or two after this video even goes live is the start of Weekend League and the start of the Ballon d'Or weekend. So again, like we talked about a lot in yesterday's video, guys, this is starting today. We have the Ballon d'Or weekend with Ballon d'Or loan cards and the Centurions promo happening at the same time. There's two different things going on this weekend. Once again, everybody gets these cards today. And my goodness, if you guys have seen the leagues for these cards, the stats are unbelievable. So these cards are not going to be in packs, guys. These cards are given out to us. Everybody who logs in is said to be getting two player picks and these cards will be available for loans on a global loan status so they'll only be out from november 8th to november 12th and they'll only be in the game as loans for that time this is the official bon mati card insane like if you guys have not seen these stats these are team of the year level cards the only thing that would actually make them a team of the year is usually that's when we get two play style pluses right this is the official bon mati with the dynamic unbelievable insane card right 97 rated also 97 rated rodri like well look at that card he got a huge defensive boost huge pace boost as well i think it was plus 22 pace from his gold card and anticipate plus now these are the cards that we will be able to get today for free and use as loans like guys all we have to do is log in and they're going to give them to us these are the official women's cards that will be in that player pick now we get two player picks right a one of five choice for both the men and the women is how we're understanding it so you might get, you get hansen or bon mati or james or you might not get them in your player pick so there's kind of some mysteriousness still like gamble pack ish feel to this because you don't know who's going to be in your set of five, but this is going to be probably the number one thing that is exciting and going crazy on this game today. And it starts at the same time as Weekend League. So I think that we're going to be able to use these cards in any mode on the game. We'll just have to see, guys. But the whole point of these Ballon d'Or cards is, I think there's actually two points. Number one, we're supposed to use these to unlock permanent rewards for our club, whether that is SBC cards or, I mean, not SBC cards, but objective cards or a pack we don't know but the, here's the design in the game you can see it right there again they're going to be loans they're not going to be on the market but the card design in is in the game there and basically the second reason why i mentioned this promo has a, at least hype or the reason that it's kind of happening this weekend this event i guess it's not really a promo this is to draw hype back to the game i think um i don't know how long this has been in the plans for ea for sure but this is definitely something that brings back and engage, engagement and tries to you know, bring on the hype, right? Think about somebody who hasn't played this game since it came out for maybe a couple weeks because content's been pretty mid. Evo's a bit broken. There's, It's been a mess, right? You see that you can get one of these cards even just to use for four days. That's going to bring a lot of people back. Is it going to make this game unplayable and annoying in Weekend League and some of the other game modes? Potentially. But if everybody gets these, I see it as just really fun like i know that it'll be like sick to use one of these cards for a limited amount of time to complete objectives with it and just to feel the power of a insane juiced card that's just going to be the most fun part about it but i understand it kind of takes away from the building of a normal ultimate team with a, a lone card that a lot of people don't like because it's not something they can keep and hold on to in their club so i co totally understand that i just think it comes down to the rewards that we can unlock today but let's be honest we're all going to have fun with whoever we're able to pick today from our player picks. Again, you get two cards, one men's, one women's player. I hope everybody's going to go try to hope for Mbappe or Yamal, Bellingham. Like there, You can't go wrong with the choice that you make. But of course, those are going to be all over the place today. And we'll just have to see what the objectives are and when the objectives come out. Of course, I'm recording this video just an hour or two before 
these are going to come out of the game. So we'll have to watch that very closely. Now, I mentioned these cards are not in packs. They are not in packs, guys. They're only available as loans. There's no way EA would put these cards in packs, right? There was a pack code added that we talked about in the previous couple of days that mentioned something really interesting. This is going to impact the market later today. EA is adding a rare gold nominee pack to the code, which includes that 5 times 85 plus pack with one player in the pack to be a guaranteed 2024 Ballon d'Or nominee. Now, what this means is you're not getting one of these cards as a Ballon d'Or nominee. What this means is one of the players that is in that list of 10 men and 10 women that are in um, the Ballon d'Or nominees in the event their base card, if it's above 85 rated, will be in this pack. So this would have it. You'd have a chance of packing gold Mbappe, um, gold Harry Kane. That would be a great pull. But all the cards in here, Laminia Mall's gold card would not be in it. Gold Jude Bellingham, gold Erling Holland, gold Saliba, um, gold Vinny Jr. Because he'll be in packs as his gold card. I already mentioned the Mbappe. One thing to mention though is Graham Hansen and Rodri both are in the Centurions promo. This pack. I bet a lot of people spend their coins on it today. It's going to be expensive, but I bet a lot of people spend coins on it because you would have increased odds at packing Hanson Centurions and um, Rodri Centurions because they're both going to be promo cards today and their gold cards would be out of packs. So that pack's going to be expensive, but that has a lot of potential. Also, with everything going on today, I've seen some people tweeting about this. There's gotta have. There's gonna be some mistakes. A mistake has gotta be happening today because there's just so much going on. So maybe that's a pack that could be a part of it of a mistake as well. But with this all going on and such a big part of the weekend, how is the market gonna react? Well, a lot of people, myself included, have been looking at potential investing in the links. A lot of Real Madrid players, a lot of FC Barcelona players. If somebody just logs on the game and gets a player pick with one of those cards in it, what are they gonna go and do? probably put it in their team, right? And go use the card, complete the objectives that they can complete to get it done. And, you know, if you don't have any Madrid or Barcelona or maybe even Manchester City cards in your team to link any of those new loans you're getting, maybe you go out and buy a few. I think that's the thing on the market that I'm most curious about today. Will link investments go up? But at the same time, you look at the state of those cards and just how insane they are. I can't help but think that the market today is going to crash at some point with everything that is going on. If they're giving out loan cards like this, that's two cards that you don't have to buy to put on your team. I think that's going to hurt a little bit of the demand. Here's what I would tell you guys as well. Any special versions or the gold card even for Mbappe or Vinny, you already saw Mbappe and Vinny both dropping yesterday. People that get these cards are not going to have to use the promo cards that they had maybe bought or the gold versions. I would not be buying any version of any of these players, at least for a few hours today, because I just think that there's going to be less demand for those and prices have already been dropping. Like you look at Mbappe's 3.2 million coins. Yesterday it went from 3.4 down to 3.2, 3.3. And I think he could fall further today. I really do believe, guys, that this could incite with all the other content that's happening this weekend, a bit of a crash in the market. So that's why I've got most of my coins liquid and I'm being very, very careful. But it's also so hard to say what is going to happen because this is the first time we've ever seen anything like this and it's going to be crazy today 100 percent. so i'm excited to get on today open my player pick and see who i get and then at least figure out what the world the weekend league is going to look like and what the objectives are for that now let's get to the centurions promo right it's going to be dropping at 6 p.m content drop today again it's confusing right it's like that's its own promo feeling type of thing and then we have a still a normal promo that's going to be coming out today too this is the leaked promo team with all the players in it pretty big team to be honest and kind of a lot of decent players too now these are not official stats we do have a couple official stats for some cards but big names there's the Rodri there's the Hansen we've got the first Modric promo card of the year we have official stats for him Bruno Fernandez even like Thomas Muller could be could be cracked Rafa Leal's getting a card and then down here in the bottom section you've got an Emre Chan his promo cards are always cracked you got a Koke he could be good you got a McKenney that could be decent as well I think there's potential with this team. I think it really depends on the pack weight. If it's like Trailblazers, where a lot of the lower tier to mid tier cards in Trailblazers, like we had, they were had playstyle pluses. Most of them did. They had roll plus pluses, 
they were juiced pretty nicely good stats and they were just really really cheap if that's the same for this promo this weekend i think we could see some further market drops but we do have a couple official stats this is hyun min sun's official centurions card it's actually a very small upgrade for him just a normal plus one in every single stat category over his inform but we have some bigger upgrades for rafa leao he's getting plus one dribbling and pace but i think it's like plus three shooting and three passing so that's going to be very very helpful for his item it doesn't look like they're changing the play styles because sun and rafaleo have the same play style plus but then you go to Luka Modric, and he's got Technical Plus. This is his official card. Big pace boost there, 81 pace, 85 shooting, 90 passing, 89 dribbling. Modric is back with a meta card in FC. It's been a while since he had one. Last year, he had a very meta one with Trivella, right? That's on his base gold card. But this is going to be a very, very sought-after card today. I think that's a very sizable boost for him with the pace boost and all around just upgrade on that card. His other play styles, of course, long ball incisive, whip pass, technical, and the Trivella. He's got Playmaker Plus. I would be surprised if they didn't add another role or give a plus plus to him there. So that's a big card to watch out for today too that I'm very, very interested in. And uh, also guys, can't forget, we're getting promo icons in packs today too. Yes, like it feels like these cards have been forgotten about. They were leaked first and it was exciting. It was like, oh, we're getting promo icons. And now they've just been forgotten about with the loans and with the Centurions cards and the SBCs and stuff. But watch out for these today too. Again, I would say if you have a regular base icon version of any of these cards, be very careful because their item is probably going to drop with a new one coming out. Promo icons are always more packable. From, all, from more packs, they're packable in like 75 plus rating guarantee packs where normal icons are not. These cards will be more packable than their base version. So I would be very careful holding anything of the base version of these cards today in this game. Now, one thing to note about these icons, Ribery is leaked in this team, right? This upgrade for Ribery is actually a very good one. I hope they boost all the icons like this because Ribery's getting like plus two or plus three. He even got plus five physical, but plus two and plus three in the important stats in every category. That is a insane looking Franck Ribery card. That's his official card link leaked by Donk. So, there's a lot of potential with this as well. He's probably going to be expensive, but like imagine this Ribery is 2 2.5 million coins. Is that going to make his old base version drop from 1.6 1.7 that's already down? I think that it will. So that's one thing to really consider today with this game as well. And that's why I saved my uh, division rivals rewards guys and why I'm saving kind of all the packs right now for a one day save. You might as well at least save one day and give yourself a shot. Uh, maybe craft a couple of 81 doubles today, get some objectives done to get a few packs. It's one of those promo Fridays where it feels like maybe saving a couple packs is worth it, which is why I decided to do that heading into today. Now, let's talk about the SBC and the other content that's coming today, guys. This is the leaked SBC that we expect to see, Darwin Nunez. Without all the content that we've had already, this would be a big piece, right? But we have all that plus this. Darwin's leaked to be coming today. The question is... How much are they juice in the card? These are not official stats for him, but if they were to be, that would be a really nice card for him. It's going to come down to the play style plus, I think. I would love Power Shot. I would love Rapid or Finesse. Maybe Quick Step as well. But, if I mean, maybe Ariel too. That'd be kind of sick. We'll have to see how big of a boost they give Darwin. I would also be really interested to see if they boost his weak foot and skill moves. If they make him 4-4, four, four, this SBC could be very expensive. But this SBC also could be very meta. It's a prem SBC for a striker. Big name player. Liverpool links are always in demand. A lot of people use Salah in this game. A lot of people use VVD. He would slot into teams. Easy, easy. And it's Darwin. So I don't know, guys. I have I have like just imaginations of this card being super cracked and it crashing all of the prem strikers. But also at the same time, it's a prem striker. Premier League tax. And none of the promo Friday SBCs have been cheap. Rafinha was what? 400,000 coins. Um, Musiala was 500,000 coins. If we think back to the last two weeks, that's kind of been a trend on promo Fridays. Maybe that's going to continue again today. So Darwin, I'm not expecting to be cheap, but I'm definitely expecting to be hyped. So definitely watch out for that one. I think it's coming to come, going to come down to the play style plus that he gets, the weak foot and the skill move upgrades. And from that, we'll have to see. Now we'll also have to see what other SBC we get today. In previous years, when there's been icons in packs as a part of a promo, we have gotten icon players in an SBC the same day that we get like a normal player in packs. I'm not saying Verona's coming today. I'm just saying it's something to think about. This could be coming later on this weekend. We've saw, we've seen this SBC leaked already and we've talked about it. 
Hopefully he gets a big boost, kind of like the Ribery did, or even bigger boost there, and hopefully he's not that expensive. But that is a leaked SBC to come soon. And since we're talking about leaked SBCs, let's talk about a couple of the others. Inaki Williams is also coming as a Centurions player SBC soon, and uh, that's going to be a cracked card because I come up against his Evo version, the people using that Evo at the beginning of the year with Power Shot Plus, and that card is literally my number one nemesis in this game. He is so good. It's the pace plus the shooting and the drill. I don't know what it is. This card is absolutely nuts. But he's coming as an SBC at some point during the Centurions promo, and we just had leaked another NWSL end of an era for O'Hara. Not official stats here. That is just a projected card. I would imagine that would be... Maybe tomorrow on Saturday, who knows? But that's another SBC that is leaked to be coming soon. But really, the big ones are Darwin, Verone, and Anaki Williams for sure. Now, the last thing I want to talk about related to content today is Evolutions, right? Promo Friday Evolutions have not been hitting good. But could that change? Because, guys, for this promo, we have our own specific Evolution design for Centurions. And what we learned from last year in FC24 was whenever there's a specific card design for Evos of the current promo that we're in, usually those Evos are good. They're more juiced, they're higher rated, requirements and higher rated boosts. This has a lot of potential, so I think it's maybe okay to get a little excited about Evos again. Hopefully EA drops some delicious upgrades in here for us to be building and uh, building up. One thing I will note is a lot of the Evos uh, that were released a couple of weeks ago when there was, you know, Evos were coming back from being broken, they expire tomorrow. It's one thing to mention. There's like three or four of them that go away. The Bag of Tricks, Playmaker Glow Up, Rapid Wing, and uh, a couple others, I think maybe even... The, um, what is it? Yeah, Goal Frenzy goes away as well. I just started that one. So you have a time to get them done, but the submitting a player into them uh, runs out here pretty soon. So I wanted to mention that. We're really looking to Evos for a big piece of the content today. But guys, let's end this video by talking about the market. There's so much going on today. That's why I'm pretty much liquid. Now, yesterday with Rivals, let's back up to that. The market yesterday at Rivals did not rise much, and nor did like the Impact's team of Trailblazers Team 2 drop that much either i honestly think guys the people have seen what's coming out and they wanted to hold their packs if you look at yesterday usually we see the promo cards that are in packs tanking on thursdays from rivals reward supply and marmouche barely dropped until after content as people are like really getting excited for what's up to coming and people are starting to not buy anything so it's really kind of not helping the, it's hurting the demand on the markets what's happening right now so that was a really weird day yesterday the first division rivals rewards day where we didn't see a big market rise like everywhere it was a pretty stagnant market yesterday and a lot of stuff is dropping into today my advice to you guys would be just be very careful i am like i said almost fully liquid at the moment icons promo cards golds i'm just we're gonna sit back and watch that's the way that i would look about it today if you see a card that you like it as investment, if you see some of the link investments start to move, I think you could maybe pick up some cards like this DeYoung. Sure, people are going to get Bonmati today, but a lot of people are also going to get Lamine Yamal. If people want to go build teams with the new cards that they're getting, for, we're all getting for free today, depending on the player pick weight and stuff like that, there could be some of these players that move. But I'm just going to wait. I'm going to be asleep when these cards come out. I'm just going to wait until I see what it, the situation is looking like when I wake up, and especially when content drops today, because it's kind of like there's two content drops. The loan stuff will be going on all day until the Centurions promo stuff comes out of content. So it's kind of like two big things happening at once. So I'm just going to get all my coins ready to move maybe later in the night on Friday, and we'll go there. But I just think that this could create a lot of crashing because there's so many new cards. Whenever EA gives out free stuff in terms of content for promos, I get a little bit worried. I really do. Like whenever they give out free stuff, like free packs that are tradable, or they put stuff in the store like for you packs that are really cheap as well, or whenever they give out free cards, it always moves the market and usually in a negative way because people are using that new stuff that they get for free instead of the stuff that they had maybe bought for their team. So that's why I'd be very, very careful. And if the SB, I think the other part of the market has to do to the SBC and the evolution content. If the Darwin is crazy, then other Premier League strikers are going to drop. Oh gosh, I completely forgot about this. We're going to get a new Premier League Player of the Month today as well. I'm not even sure who's supposed to be winning this, but another player, Premier League Player of the Month is going to be dropping today too. Have to mention that. But depending on the Darwin SBC, 
And depending on the evolutions, if those are giving us nice cards to create and it's hype, and the new Centurions promo cards, like I mentioned, and compared them to the Trailblazers, if they're decently packable and the ones that are even on like the cheaper fodder levels are still usable looking cards that a lot of people want to pick up and put in their teams i think that's going to hurt gold cards i think it's going to hurt older specials maybe some of the road to the knockouts maybe even some of the total rush cards that we still use in our teams it could be kind of a one of those weekends again like we had two weeks ago when trailblazer started and the trailblazer cards had roll plus pluses and they were hype and it really crashed the market a couple weeks ago right we had good sbc content like the icon packs and hero packs then we could be in for another market crash this weekend guys i'm not trying to manifest it i'm just saying with all the content that is coming out there it just seems really crazy. Now, the flip side to that is there could be some insane movements because if EA is getting a ton of people to come back to the game, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but that's definitely what they're trying to do with this whole promo stuff, icons and packs, the Ballon d'Or cards. They're trying to get hype back around this game and build it up. That could also bring more demand back into the game. More demand for people to buy teams and play weekend league and, and build out their squads. So it could be a mix of both things. But again, I think it's going to come down to how good the Ballon d'Or stuff is today. It's going to be hype, but what are the objective packs? And then also, what is the SBC and Evolution content? Links to Darwin Nunez, you got to think about as well. And then, of course, for Evos, it's just, it's everything. You could have cards spiking in crazy prices for Evos that fit. Uh, if it's a paid Evo, that's one thing to remember too. Paid Evos. We haven't had too many of them this year that have been like crazy good. You know, we had the 100K no pressure. This drains coins from the market. If we get another paid Evo today that's like super crazy. Remember the Centurions one last year that Marcus Urente was upgradable in? That's this one for no pressure this year. But if we get another one that creates insane players, it's paid. That takes coins off the market too. And if there's a store pack that is out, like we looked at earlier, that is really hyped that a lot of people are spending their coins on. That's going to devalue the market as well because all the cards in this pack are untradeable. If you're turning in coins for untradeable cards, that's going to hurt the market. Speaking of packs, really quickly as well, there are a couple of interesting packs in here. There's a 100 players pack that's all rare gold items. That's probably an SBC or it could be a store pack, one of the two. And then another max 88 base icon upgrade. I almost feel like that is going to be in the store since we already have a max 88 icon in the code for the SBC that we had last week or two weeks ago so if they drop that in the store they drop this in the store the regular other centurions whatever packs in the store uh and then plus the ballon d'or one i it, it could be a really crazy day today on this game i think it's going to be guys so i'm excited for it i can't wait to get on to open up this player pick see who i get who we get to try out for the next four days and hopefully get some good packs and just have some fun with that's the part that i'm looking forward to the most what ballon d'or nominee will i get to have some fun with and uh yeah we'll be doing that on stream today so if you want to follow us there drop that uh, drop down in the comments or drop down in the description rather to follow the stream we'll be streaming there today watching the market how it all moves and of course getting into a little bit of gameplay maybe with our new ballon d'or players watching the centurions spcs the evolutions everything guys it's going to be a mad friday today on this game mad weekend with everything going on so make sure to drop a follow down there but if you enjoyed this video drop thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new and let me know what you're looking forward to the most if you save packs just give me your vibe right now in this game does the loan stuff excites you or is it mid i think a lot of people are split down the middle a lot of people love it a lot of people hate it so i want to hear your comments down below as well but that's enough yapping from me have a great friday i will see you guys in the twitch stream today it's been nate's account see you there peace out